Yo, what's up guys, it's Ryan, and recently I posted on Reddit's EDM production uh, subreddit about like what's your biggest music theory questions, and um, a lot of people were very confused about the whole numbers thing, the whole Roman numerals thing, so I figured, oh, well, <laughs> perfect, I'll just do a video on that, because it's actually not difficult at all and this flowchart right here is way simpler than it seems so this right here is essentially what each chord can go to or it can air quotes traditionally go to this is this chart right here is something you'll find in a lot of classical music theory textbooks and like Obviously, jazz breaks every rule that music theory has ever had, and there's always exceptions to every rule, but in general, this is the rule of what can go to what. Um, so, anyways, so what we have right here is we've got the one, and something, something I should say first is if it's lowercase, it's minor, and if it's uppercase, it's major, and it's really just that simple. And this is diminished right here, that little dot, if you don't know. Um, I'm going to assume a basic understanding of what makes a triad a triad at this point. I've got this right here. This is just walking up the scale. In triads, the C major scale. I'm going to be using this as a reference. So, so right here we've got the one. It's a major one, happy chord. We start all the way to the right every time, or not every time. We, for most cases, you start all the way to the right on the one. And the one, this arrow means it can go anywhere at all. Um, so. It can go anywhere, and let's say we land on the 6 right here. The 6 is just the 6th note up the scale. So right here we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the 6 is the A minor. Minor chord checks out. And then this arrow shows that it can either go to the 4 or the 2. And if it goes to the 4, that can also go to the 2, or the 7, or the 5. And uh, right here, the 4, 1, 2, 3, whoops, 3, 4, F major, ma major chord, major chord, D minor, 1, 2, D minor, minor chord, 7, like, it's... It's really that simple that it just correlates with which note is starting. And it's just something you're going to have to learn um, that like the 4 and the 5 are always major and the 7 is always diminished and the 2 is minor, 6 and 3 are minor, stuff like that. And you'll learn how the chords can flow into each other based on this and you'll learn which rules to break and which rules not to break and stuff like that. Um, yeah, this this chart can be super helpful um, when you're trying to learn like how to build chord variations and what the Roman numerals even are. Um, it's just the scale degrees and the associated chordal tonality, I guess would be the word for it. Um, so yeah, that's kind of how or what Roman numerals are and how you can build chord progressions out of them. Just to give you an example, um, if you take the one and we go to the three, and then we go to the four, and we go to the seven, just picking literally random chords out of this chart, it'll sound something like this. It's one, three, four, seven. One, three, four, seven. So it's an interesting chord progression just straight out the box and 
that last quote didn't really fit. So if we did, then that's way cleaner and way better. And that's just guess and checking through this chart. So yeah, that's kind of what it is. Um, it's kind of what the drum intervals in this chord progression chart are and how you can start building chord progressions. Um, I hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed. Um, like, comment, subscribe, do all that nonsense. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. If you got any questions, by the way, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'd be more than happy to, uh, to get back to you. And yeah, all right, thanks for watching. See you later. OBS is here.